Experts predict there will be 97 million new AI-related jobs globally over the next two years, which is why the University of Texas just launched a unique AI master program. They tell KVU's Darity Shaharan enrollment for the first semester far exceeded expectations. There's no question, artificial intelligence is changing the job market. There are certainly uh, a lot of jobs that are at risk uh, because of AI. The technology is also helping create some jobs, which is why this semester UT Austin launched one of the first Master of Science in Artificial Intelligence programs in the country. We're focused on educating uh, professionals, AI professionals who are going to be building the next generation AI systems, making sure that AI is leveraged to the best effect in mobile devices and in uh, everything that we do around us. Professor Ken Fleischman teaches the only required course in the online program, Ethics, which has over 400 students, 10 times larger than his average grad course. I'm very passionate about technology. Joshua Fonseca Rivera, who's a software engineer, just wrapped up his first semester in the program. I'm really looking for companies that are making a difference with climate change. Um, it's a little hard to find companies that are hiring my specific skill set unless you are really knowledgeable. So I'm trying to get to that point where I can really contribute and make a difference. The first group of graduates could walk the stage as soon as this time next year. Perfect timing as the demand for AI experts increases rapidly. I think that students will get great placements with really high salaries, but also be really able to do important things in the world. Um, in many cases in industry, but I also hope that some of our graduates will go into jobs in government and nonprofits. Professor Ken says right now the Master of Science in AI program has over 640 students. And as applicants applications are coming in right now, they expect that number to double, maybe even triple next semester. In the studio tonight, I'm Darren Heron, KVU News.